In this video, I'll show you how to use the trim path function in Adobe Fresco and tell you why it's so useful. To start, create a new layer and select a vector brush. Then draw the shape you want to draw by building up with individual strokes and make sure the strokes overlap at the end. When you're done with that, double click on the touch shortcut and select the outer ring. Then draw over the stroke endings in order to erase them. If you like, you can then add a color to the shape. The advantage of the turn path function is that you can draw nice flowing lines without having to worry about making them match up on the corners. Instead, you just go back and erase the overlap and you end up with nice sharp corners. There are just two things you have to pay attention to when using the trim path function. One, make sure the strokes actually overlap. If they don't quite overlap, the trim path function will erase the whole stroke and not just uh, the overlapping part. And two, trim the path before you fill the shape. If you fill the shape first, uh, the trim path function won't work. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helpful and you enjoy using the trim path function in Adobe Fresco.